Hello, hope you're well, hope you're keeping safe, hope you're keeping safe, happy Wednesday to you all. People are idiots. Uh, yes, there you go, that's my declaration for the day. People are indeed morons. The Daily Mail have run this story, uh, and by run a story, I mean they've done what the Daily Mail love to do, which is go onto Reddit or onto social media, screenshot a load of people's comments or tweets, and then smash them all together and call it journalism. God bless the Daily Mail, keep it up. Uh, and this is a swathe, a plethora, a bombardment, an avalanche, and lots of other words besides, of people who are sharing on social media today that they have had a positive lateral flow test and therefore they're going to have to isolate up until Christmas Day. What a bunch of morons. Now, I will at this point, of course, say that there are certain professions for which you are required to regularly test yourself. Certainly in health services, I believe the education sector has a requirement on teachers and what have you to test yourself regularly to ensure that you're not spreading this virus to other people. But to those who are voluntarily taking these tests, you only have yourself to blame. And for those who are voluntarily taking these tests and get a positive result, what you do after that is entirely up to you. You could do what I would probably do, which is go, oh, look, I have a virus. I have a bug. I don't want to give this to my friends and family and people around me. I'll take a couple of days off work, a couple of days you know, off from seeing people and from socialising. I will rest, I will drink plenty of water, get my vitamins, and wait till I recover, take another test, wait for it to be clear, and I can go back out into the world and celebrate whatever is left of the run-up to Christmas by the time that I'm all clear and healthy and tickety-boo again. By putting this on social media, you are resigning your fate. You are cancelling all your plans running up to Christmas. You are ensuring that people will not go within two yards of you and the run up to Christmas because they don't want to fall for the same fate and to catch this bug and to end up having to self-isolate or not have whatever. And all of this, all of this is done for a small smattering of attention on social media, for a bit of sympathy for a bit of exposure, for a few likes and a few poor little sad faces and a few comments. Well, you're idiots. You're morons. If you're doing these tests voluntarily, then you've only got yourself to blame anyway. But then to make it public, just to get a little bit of clout, I believe they call it. Well, if you have to cancel your Christmas party, if you can't go shopping or enjoy the festivities, then you only have yourself to blame. Of course, if your agenda is to avoid social interaction on the run up to uh, the run up to Christmas, then well done. Congratulations. Keep a positive test to hand and share it at every available opportunity. But to the rest of you, you're idiots. I've said it all along. If you're not well or you only have mild, if you're not unwell, sorry, or you only have mild symptoms, then why take a test? Okay. If you're unwell, you have some sort of symptoms, just keep away from other people. We don't want to spread viruses about, whether it be Delta or Omicron or just the common cold. Be a decent human being. But no, we live in a social media age where everything that happens to you needs a reaction. It needs a response. And if that means not being able to see your friends or family or depriving maybe elderly relatives of your visitation at Christmas, then isn't it worth it? It's worth it just to get a few sympathetic are you okay, hun, comments on social media? Well, you're a bunch of idiots and you deserve everything that's coming to you. The rest of you, stay safe, stay sane and have a very happy Christmas.